two. Bam. What's the deal, man? How y'all doing out there today, world? This is your boy, Matt. Got souls coming at y'all with a brand new banger, man. Y'all know how I do on Fridays, man. I try to get them into y'all. You dig what I'm saying? How everybody feeling out there today? I hope everybody is blessed, feeling stressless. You know what I'm saying? It's Friday. It's Friday, man. It's going to be a good day. I'm doing well. I woke up fairly early today, man. I woke up about 4.30 a.m. this morning. Um, I've been finding myself doing that a lot lately. Um, waking up early, man. I wake up between 4 o'clock and 5. Find myself not able to go back to sleep, man. So I just get up and get my day started. Get up, knock some push-ups out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all yeah, know. Y'all know, man. But anyways, I'm good, man. Before we get started on this video today, y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, man. So y'all know when your boy, none other than Matt Got Souls, bringing y'all some more sneaker content. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So look, man, on today's video, man, I figured that I just give y'all my top five and my sneaker collection. You understand? My top five sneakers and my sneaker collection. It was kind of hard picking these top five sneakers, man, because top five ain't fair. And to think I was going to do a top three, top three definitely ain't fair. I'm not saying I got, you know what I'm saying, all of the heat, you know what I'm saying, or, or hype sneakers. I definitely don't have a lot of hype sneakers, I guess. Um... I got some dead stocks that should be in my top five, but these stick out to me, man. So I'm going to go on and run these sneakers down to y'all, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Going to run these sneakers down to y'all, man. I ain't trying to hold y'all all day, you know what I'm saying, on the video. So uh, to get things started off, man, uh, not these they not in no specific order, man. Just my top five. It ain't no one, two, three, four, five. It's just my top five sneakers that I love in my collection, all right? So we're going to start it off with the, uh, the Simple Pimples. Uh, simple Pimples. Got these things right here, man. Nike Air, Air Max Lime Aid. Now, I, I did a review on these sneakers, too. Uh, if y'all seen that video. If not, man, y'all make sure y'all go check it out. But, yeah, these are my Nike Air Max Lime A's. It's got some type of lint or something at the bottom. Uh, yeah, what I liked about these sneakers, man, is the detail, especially the um, the green colorway. Then you know you got the air with the Nike checks on the upper by the uh, eyelids. Got your little lime aid on the tongue with your Nike in there. Um, the the lime aid laces, you know what I'm saying, to match that. The eyelids, the air bubble, um, the air in the back, you know, and it also came with three pair of laces, three pair of different laces, man, green, white, and then you got a green and white uh, mixture together. Um, Nike Air Max 1 Lime Aid, I love Nike Air Max 1s, man, and that's why I said the top five was so hard because um, my other Air Max One should have been in this lineup, but you know they not, they not. Um, second sneaker in my uh, top five. We gonna have to go with the LeBron James Three Houston Oilers. LeBron James Three Houston Oilers. Now, I grabbed this sneaker here, man, because uh, it was it was rare. Um, to me, it wasn't a lot of people, you know, talking about this sneaker or, you know, reviewing this sneaker at the time when it came out. I cannot remember the release date, nor do I remember the release date for the, the Lime A's I just showed y'all. I want to say maybe those was 2020, though. When these dropped, I cannot. Oh, that new sneaker smell. Um, I can't remember when these dropped, man, but I know... Uh, it was a very very popular sneaker in uh, the original OG colorway. And I think the original OG colorway was white, black, and like red. Yeah, I want to say the uh, the white, you know what I'm saying? When you see the white, that is white. And then when you see the baby blue, at, I want to say it was black. And then the eyelids uh, were red. Um, yeah, man, these are dope. 
I actually only wore these one time. Actually, only wore these one time, and that's when my uh, my brother-in-law was having a uh, was having his shoe store um, opening downtown. Um, they come with not two pair of different lace, but they give you one lace each, which I don't even understand why they did that. They give you one baby blue lace and then one red lace. I don't understand the point of that. I'm not gonna rock two different laces in my shoe. That's just not what I do. You did what I'm saying. Um, maybe because I didn't break this shoe in all the way, but man, on this right foot, that big toe, oh my God, horrible, horrible. Yeah, man, so these are my LeBron James 3 Houston Oilers. Cold, cold, love them sneakers, man, love them sneakers. Number three. Another James, man. My LeBron James 8 Hardwood Classic. LeBron James 8 Hardwood Classics, man. Indeed. Y'all can see by the bottom of my sneakers, man. Uh, I don't wear them too often. When I take them off, good cleaning right back in the container, man. But yeah, uh, these LeBron James eight hardwood classics man was was a no-brainer you know what i'm saying um the colorway um the cleveland cavaliers did have this colorway as well but when i look at this colorway man i think of the new york knicks you know what i mean everybody know when you went to the garden you had to bring your a game you did you had to bring your a game man and uh the suede material on the uppers the orange orange shoelaces the detail on the tongue um, with LeBron James logo, the lion. If y'all can see that, <clears throat> with the blue eyes, man, you dig? Yeah, another one of my faves. Now this is a comfortable sneaker. This is a comfortable sneaker. I can rock these all day. Un unlike Jordans, man. Jordan sneakers are not comfortable. Now y'all want to be to do a goat debate on that? Whose sneakers the most comfortable is though? Jordan might Jordan sneakers might be more popular, but who's more comfortable? You feel me? LeBron's. <laughs> I just play with y'all, man. I'm just playing with y'all. But yeah, man, these are my LeBron James Ace uh, Hardwood Classics, man. Dope. Dope. Love them. Now, down to the last two, man. What y'all think they is? <laughs> Down to the last two, man. What y'all think they is? All right, we're just going to go on here. Uh, we're going to go with the Jordan 11 Concords, man. We're going to go with the Jordan 11 Concords. Now, these got to be in the top five because this sneaker right here is what got me, you know what I'm saying, infatuated with sneakers again. Now, before I started collecting sneakers again back in 2017, 2018, I was still a sneakerhead, man, you know, but... You know, life happens. You know what I'm saying? Life happens, man. Um, so in 2017, 2018, you know what I'm saying? I was able to I was able to get back right, man, and start collecting sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Because since I was a youngin', I always had collections of sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not like right now, like 100 pairs at a time, but always like 10 to 12 in a rotation. You dig what I'm saying? But, um... 2018 when these dropped man like i just i had to i had to y'all see my bottoms are still fairly icy man i say a good eight out of ten for the bottoms good eight out of ten they just need a damn have i cleaned them yeah, i think i did clean these i think i did clean these but yeah man these are dope with the four five on the back four five on the back <clears throat> High patent leather cut, man. Y'all already know what it is when it comes to the J's. Y'all know what it is when it comes to the J's, man. Y'all uh, looking forward to getting them DMP packs, man, that come out December 9th. For the price point of $230, i am going to grab them, bro, just so they can go with these. Just so they can go with these. And I love the the leather upper on the uh, on the DMPs. But, yeah, man, the Jordan 11 Concourse. <laughs> Everybody know about these, boys. Everybody know about these boys. <clears throat> Last but not least. Last but not least, man. Wow. 
I say these for last because these boys just fire, man. You see the smile on my face when I talk about these, man? Fire. Just dope, man. You can't go wrong. Um, these dropped earlier this year, um, 2023. Was it May? I want to say May 22nd? Wait, May 22nd? May 9th? I don't know. May 11th? Something like that, man. But just cold, man. The Jordan 3 uh, White Cement Reimagines. Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagines, man. Nike Air on them. You did Nike Air on them. Y'all see the elephant print. Now, when these dropped, man, it was a big deal with the elephant print. Big deal. Now, you can see a, a, a slight difference on mine, you know what I'm saying, in the rear from the left and the right shoe. You can see which one is more, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> more precise or whatever you want to call it. And then if you come around to the front, the front is pretty much, you know, on the toe box. The front is pretty much the same. But man, when these drops, it was it, it was a lot of pairs out there that was uh <clears throat> that was that was pretty bad, man. They were pretty bad. Um still to this wheel in what, the month of August? We in the month of August, man, and this sneaker is still being talked about, um, debated if it's sneaker of the year. To me, in my eyes, man, <clears throat> right now it has been sneaker of the year. I know the Nike 4 SB is uh it's like right there with these. A lot of people like the Nike 4 SB with the gum bottom and that green. Um, but then y'all gotta understand too, man, we still got the cherries coming in October. Um I still don't know if the cherries are better than these, man, because these are just, man, these, these are just the ones. These are just the ones. But, uh, yeah, we still got the cherries coming out, and then we still got them Jordan 11 DMPs uh, coming out, too, um, this year. So, But to me, these are sneaker of the year. You know, I'm going to put these over the cherries and the DMPs. These are sneakers of the year. Real talk. Real talk. So, yeah, man, this is the last pair of my top five. Um y'all get in the comments and let me know um if y'all collect sneakers man what's y'all top five sneakers in y'all collection um <clears throat> you understand i'm pretty sure a lot of people got jordan 11 concords and uh the jordan 3 white cement reimagines but uh the other three sneakers that i uh that i uh had in my top five do any anybody else have those sneakers as well um yeah man so i just wanted to bring y'all that that quick video not real quick we going on 13 minutes so my bad for holding y'all so long but yeah man that's my top five in my collection you understand y'all get down in the comments below and y'all y'all get at me man and remember to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so that y'all know when your boy matt got so bringing y'all some more sneaker content you understand what i'm saying indeed 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 man i'm gonna go and get up out of here and enjoy my friday y'all enjoy y'all friday be safe stay low to earth stay stress-free hug yourself spread the love baby Spread the love, baby. For sure, until next time, man. It's your boy, Matt Gossos. Peace. Love.